right, so what we're going to do is look at Federer because his forehand's pretty good. Right. And, um, and we're going to go over some really good things that he does okay. and some key points in the forehand. And then we're going to look at yours and compare. And I'm going to show you, you actually do a lot of really good things on your forehand. Mm -hmm. And there's only a couple things that I think we can really help you to make it a lot easier for you okay. to hit. Okay. So when I'm looking at Fetters, the first thing is getting the unit turn where he turns and gets in this set position here. Then from here, he has a racket drop where the ball is going to be coming in the frame up here. His racket head is below the ball. From this position, he's rotating with his hips and his chest so his big muscles are doing the uncoiling while his racket is just coming behind right so at contact he's coming up to contact and at contact his chest and his hips are rotated forward and his racket was like lagging behind coming through and then extending frame by frame coming out through the ball after contact and then he comes around towards the end and finishes very loosely on the side. Okay, so I, I pull up a couple examples just to kind of give you an idea of uh, what's going on here. Um, so from this ready position, and we talked about getting to the unit turn, which I think you do a really good job of, this uh, getting into this coil position with the racket head up, left arms out, then from here, dropping below the ball, this is a little bit higher, below the ball and coming up to contact. Now you can see that you're facing sideways. Remember when we talked about how Federer yeah. leads with the body and then the racket comes behind? Yeah. You're yeah. leading with the arm yeah. and the body's gonna come behind. Right. Right. And right. then finishing through at contact, okay? I actually think your swing path in most of these examples um, is very good. You're doing a really good job of coming below the ball and um, getting that top spin. You have really good spacing and you have really good feel on the ball. Okay. I think it's, it's um, really good. So I think the biggest thing is, like we said, it's a great unit turn. I think you're coming below the ball but we're just not using our body. Oh, so okay. you can see like from this position, yeah. your body hasn't changed. Right, right. Where when I look at, so from that same position, yeah, see how the body he's, he's really, yeah. yeah, still coming through. So that's gonna be the biggest focus that I wanna work on. And then the second focus we're gonna, um, work on a little bit is just tension. Just getting you to relax oh, through okay. the ball a little bit. Right. But our main focus will be at contact, being able to use your big muscles. Right. So it's, it, my goal is to make it a lot easier for you. Right. right now, you kind of muscle through it with your arm and you do a really good job of creating good spin, good height on the ball. But I think I can make it a lot easier for you to be able to hit the ball. Um, and that's kind of the goal is the easier we can get it, the more times you can repeat it and the better it's going to be. Um, I just want you to line up on the service line and you're going to go get into that unit turn position that we talked about. And then all I want you to do is you're going to drop and come to contact. And I want to see what you, that your body is forward at contact. Okay. So turn, I'm going to help you get to that position here. Turn, mm-hmm. And now I want you to focus on leading right now with the chest and the hips. Yes, and then the arm comes around, okay? So at contact, we're looking to see if your chest and hips are parallel to the net or the baseline or the service line forward and the racket is con at contact. Good, good. Very good. Let's do like 10 of those, okay? We're gonna get our, our body and our mind to be able to connect here. Good, nice and slow. Unit turn, nice and slow, nice and s relaxed. Good. 
Nice, good. Okay, so now what I want you to do is you're gonna go from, I'm gonna get on this side so you can see me. You're gonna go from unit turn, okay? And you're gonna lead again with the chest and the hips to contact, okay? Lead to contact and then stop like we have been doing. But then from there, I want you to extend out and around like you would on the finish, okay? So we're gonna really segment this really slow. So we're gonna go unit turn, Leading with the chest and hips to contact and extend and through. Nice, Fred. Good. Let's do it again. Unit turn, lead with the chest and hips, extend and through. Good. So this is the beginning when we're working on. Do you now see how your body is leading and rotating? Yeah. Makes a big difference there. Then if we go towards where the finish is, right here, hips, contact, oh, yeah. and finish. Yep. It's good. Yep. So that's going to be the biggest thing is getting this marker because it's an easy marker for us to see is if your chest and your hips right. are yep. parallel when you're making contact. Yep. Um, now we're going to do two shadows and we're, our goal is when he drops the ball in front of you to do the same thing as your shadows, okay? Um, keeping that loose tension, okay? Because if you get tight, you're going to start using that arm again. So really focus on just the chest and the hips leading and the arm is nice and relaxed coming through, okay? Nice. Good. Nice and relaxed. Lead. Good. Second one, lead early. There you go. Mm -hmm. Look That's at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something yeah. here. Yeah. So just to kind of compare where we were <laughs> compared to. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Which yeah. one is the better athlete? <laughs> yeah, 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 really, yeah. Do you see the yeah. huge difference there? Really. Yes, for sure. All right, so now I'm going to have you step up a little bit more, but I am having Ian on that side. He's going to toss um, a few to you. So now you're having the balls coming at you, so it's got a little bit more trajectory coming, yes, and the timing of it. So it's, I want to do a, a couple shadow swings, keeping that nice, relaxed, loose arm leading and then I'm going to have him feed you so we're going to do two shadow swings and two balls two more shadows good Let's see what it looks like. Looks good. Okay. <laughs> I think sometimes what you feel is that tension when you make contact. Sometimes you start to tense up wow. a little bit, think, but that, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But I think in gen, like this was probably your best one right here. The yeah. arm was really relaxed, yeah. you know, it's coming through. Yeah. Um, I, I think, so it's, I think sorry. it's also important to keep in mind that comfort is very closely tied to familiarity. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and, yeah. right, and right now you're pretty far outside of what you're used to doing. Yeah. And so you have to kind of allow yourself a little bit of room okay. to feel, you know, Dis discomfort. as, as okay. long as what we see here yeah, exactly. is thumbs yeah. up, then yeah. you kind of have yeah. to trust it. Um, okay, I'm going to have Ian actually feed some with a racket now. Okay, so scoot back uh, just one or two steps right in this no man's area. Yep. Uh huh. And then he's gonna, so the ball's gonna come with a little bit more trajectory, right? So your tendency might be to tense up a little bit more because that's what you're used to. Um, the faster the ball comes, the more tense you usually are. So it's really gonna be important to really lead early and keep that arm as relaxed as possible. Okay, really leading with the body. All the way through on the swing. There you go. Nice. 
Nice. That last one was smoother. Did you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't stop the swing or anything. You just relaxed yeah. all the way through. Yeah. I thought it was really good. I think you can really feel when you are short. Yeah. Um, now, I think it's just getting that to where it's one continuous motion coming through. That's good. Nice. This is the one. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Okay. Looking a lot better. Thank you. All right, so let's move back to the baseline now. Okay, so even though I've put more distance in between you, okay, I want to make sure that you're keeping the same speed, the same tempo, and we're just keeping it nice and calm and we're still focused on the body leading, okay? So no change, even though there's more distance and the ball might be coming a little bit quicker. Nice, Fred. It's good. It's good. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we talked about the markers. Actually, I'm ahead. I'm ahead. Yeah, you yeah, had a little yeah. bit extra. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Yes, I'll see that was, it was just a little jammed, was, but. It was late and close. Yeah. I mean, but, the, but the, the con. Body's, yeah. The body's right. Yeah, and yeah. that's what I mean. I think it was a little close. It looks like it's still in front of you where you're making contact, but. Yeah. Um, the, yeah, it was just a little close, but you did a good job of still leading with the body. It's good. Sometimes you can see that arm taking over there, but it looks really good. I mean, yeah, there we go. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's a huge... Yeah, wow. I, it's this. See, I would I would never see that in myself. Yeah. Look how more. I mean, yeah, it looks yeah. more athletic, sure. more Way smooth. Better. Sure. Yeah, looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Kevin. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> what about me, Fred? It looks like me, Fred. <laughs> good job. <laughs> All right. So now, same tempo, like I said. Um, and Ian, so you're just going to go cross court forehands, okay? So he's not going to run you all around or craziness, but it's just going to be controlled cross court and just finding that nice tempo, okay? Not trying to rev it up or do anything crazy. Good. Sorry. Very nice. I mean, in general, I would say you were definitely at probably 70%. I mean, you were leading. Yeah. You were leading. I think there was only three or four that I literally was like, ah, I was a little late. But like I said, the important thing, I mean, look at that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. The important thing is, is that anytime it was a little late, like that one yeah. was a little late that the yeah, next that one, yeah, yeah, I don't count that one. The next one you really focused on, look at oh, that. Yeah, jeez, yeah. what a difference, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? I mean, right. your body it's pretty awesome. is not doing, now yeah. you can see, I mean, your body's yeah. doing all the right. work. Right. It's a huge difference. Great job. It's really good. Right. Get you a drink. You. That's Thank awesome. You. Oh, sorry, Ian. Nice work. Nice job. Yeah.